Okay, weekly learning in the office where Erev Rosh Hashanah almost like next week will be the, the big days. Yom Arichta, Dami, they're considered one long day, 48 hours, Mayach, and this year we get an extra Shabbos added on just so we don't go into a fast, then we go into a Shabbos. Exciting times, Rosh Hashanah, Barlena, the Tova, and also we have the Shabbos, Nitzavim, Vayelech, the last Shabbos of the year of Tafshin Pei, Dalit. We will be transitioning into Tafshin Pei. Hey, next time we learn together in the office will be Tafshin Pei. Hey, unless we happen to learn a little bit in the beginning part of the week, just stum, just learn anyway, because Torah, we're always learning. Torah goes with us. So we're holding in Halachas of Elul, and we need to speed up because we need to get to Halachas of Rosh Hashanah. So let's just end off. We have Erev Rosh Hashanah, the Indian of going to Kivrei Siddiquim. In the Kitz Shochnoch, and it's around the halachas of 128 Your over 13. Your son is now, and Yehuda's son just oh, came back. Very yeah. good. My son is actually um, in Poland, and he's on his way through to Ukraine. He was just by the Ramaz base Knesset, and also where the one of the famous sites of the Holocaust, where they gathered all the people together. And he was also by Rav Noam Eli Melech, the, uh, the, the, the Heliger Noam Eli Melech of Lezhensk. And um, he'll be heading into Uman. There was a nice picture with him and David Rich, who happened to yes, meet up with them in Uman, uh, not in Uman, in Poland. Once he gets to Uman, it's going to be like an influx of thousands of people. But the main voter is Erev Yom I think we mentioned this last time, to say Tuk and Kali together, the Olami, to say it together with thousands and thousands of people along that uh, Pushkana Street. And it's packed all the way till the Sion. And then the people in Chabad world will go to the oil, and people in Eretz Yisrael will go to the Mekomis Kedoshim. The point is to, to use it as a day of Rosh Hashanah for tefillah and to seek out the merit of the Siddiquim, to be made as Yosha for us, to, to be a guardian for us all. People are very into lawyers. We were talking about before in the patent world, on America. But um, we have our lawyers, our, our spiritual lawyers, who are seeking out our, for our benefit. So Rabbi Nachman's one of the top lawyers, the Davich Rebbe's, all the big Siddiquim are the big lawyers up there and making sure that we're going to get a good judgment and uh, this is the Avodah. So one of the things it says here, beautiful Loshan, it says, upon arriving at the grave, he should say, may it be your will, and we're just going to fly a bit more than usual, that so-and-so who is buried here should rest in dignity. Zohar, may his merit stand for me. So this Sadiq, whoever Rabbi Nachman is buried here, may his merit stand for me when placing his hands on grave should place on his left hand. So for me, I've never done this because I'm a Kohen. Um, lo yamina, not his right hand. He should recite the verse, Yancha Hashem Tamid, Hashem Hashem, you will guide you always. Set your soul in times of drought. And strengthen your bones, and you will be like a well watered garden. And like a spring of water whose waters never fail, we should continue with the following prayer. Tishka b'shalom, lie in peace. Tisham b'shalom, and sleep in peace. Ad bo menachem ashmiya shalom. Until the rival, the one who consoles, announcing peace. That's Mashiach. When placing his hand on grace, you come a pasuk, you should concentrate on the verse, and Hashem will guide you. Sheesh bo teisvav tevis, which contain fifty words, communion, kishra yad. Yad is fifteen joints in the hand, including the palm, because Yosef simon reish chav dalis. Interesting from the orachim. Ain leilech al kibra echa. Why should not visit one grave based palm and beyond machad? You should not go twice in one day. Korah kosev shal gabi and Twice to the same one. Yeah. Some right. Indian, not to. Um, says what I said about Mashiach below. Okay, now let's go back. Where are we? Oh, yeah, all the way at the beginning here. Okay, um, well, that we did. Uh, writing on the grain strands, if letters are protruding, it's harmful effect on his memory. Ahava Rabba Ad Yachta Bahava, the Prabha Rabba with abundant love until the words you proclaim. Okay. So, um, the segula to get rid of this harm is to have more kavan and have a rabba. And when you're davening shacharis. So, I don't know, this is complicated stuff about gravestones and, you know, I, I, these are inyanim that I don't really know because the Baruch Hashem, I don't, generally don't go. But I do, will go nearby. So, like Rabbi Nachman Sion, I was near enough to say the the Tikkun Klali together with all the people. And then, I mean, we can do it together here and there. So, also say the Tikkun Klali, Alami. That's sure. the good news. 
Rav Rosh Hashanah, it is Nagu Kulam Lisanus. It's a custom for everyone to fast. That will be next week on Wednesday, um, less than a week from today. Can you move? Ad Acha Mincha, to after Mincha, just Tomin Ezadava. At that time, I should partake of some food. Shaloi Kanais Liyom Tov Kashu Mu'une. He should not enter into pain by hunger. The whole Yom throughout the entire day, Yasuk the Torah Mitzvah the Tshuva. One should be involved in Torah Mitzvahs and Tshuva. I mean, someone who has a large family, more likely he's going to be busy with that. But um, that's the Torah Mitzvah. And there's probably a lot of Tshuva going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, the culture, I mean, it's, it's larger davening as well, usually, because there's a whole big Slichus as well. The culture came, but Varis, Shabain, Odom, one should be involved with Varis. Rectifying sins are between Shabbat and the I know I said a virus, a virus, yeah, a viruses. Yeah, you should get rid of the viruses, the virus, the virus. Loyamtin ad erev yom kippurim, and he should not wait until the day before Mikor to address these sins below. Ela yachtim etzatz mahayom, we should do so in advance on this day. Levachish machaveir machila. So there's a whole minhag about going around asking machila for people erev yom kippur. It's a, it's a, it's a, I don't even know the minhag. It might be halacha, because. Um, Benam Le Mokham, your relationship with you and Hashem, that's where you get sleep for Yom Kippur, for fasting, for being involved in the day. But, Benam Le Mokham, there's no kapara on that side of things if you haven't done tshuva, you haven't gone out of your way to return the money or to, to wish each other mechila, or whatever, whatever it is that needs to be fixed. So Erev Yom Shona is a good day to do it preceding the 10 days of repentance, to not wait for Erev Yom Kippur. This is something that should already be happening now-ish during Elul. Um, especially Erev Rosh Hashanah. If one feels somewhat ill, he may eat. That's on a fast day of Erev Rosh Hashanah. I think what we do, we have make a siyam or something. And that get, then, so then people... Oh, yeah, don't have to fast. Oh, that is a fast? I think we do that on Erev Pesach. Maybe Erev Rosh Hashanah we should fast in the morning. I don't know. I haven't fasted Erev Rosh Hashanah. Maybe because I'm shrach. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I just... Whatever. The less fasting, the better. That's my opinion. Yeah. Jews like eating, we need to eat, and Shem wants us to be basimcha, and if we're fasting, we're usually a bit, unless you're in a more spiritually tuned state of mind, generally fasting makes you less spiritually focused, you're just Agreed. more Agreed. irritable, um, which can lead to other problems. Um, yes, although one must appease his friend, if agreed to him, there's an additional urgency during the days of all. If one stole from or cheated another person, you have absolute obligations of word what he's taken immediately, and may not put it off until this time of year. So I do owe one or two people some money. Not they're not uh, like officially chovers, but it's it's a shame. I hope I'll be able to pay them. We have to see Mr. Brim. One should launder his clothing, take a haircut, bear Rosh Hashanah on Rosh Hashanah, the covered Yom Tov. Okay, so make sure you have you fix your washing machine, which we're just dealing with today, and take a haircut. Yeah, make sure you have. I'm going to try to get a haircut around today because. I don't like this air of Yom Tov haircut business. Well, air of Yom Tov, son, you're washing all your clothes. Maybe that's back in the day where they had to work very hard in the fields. So they didn't have any time except for air of Yom Tov. But now we, we can squeeze in a, a load of washing. We can get a haircut without having to be doing it all in air of Yom Tov. So I'm going to try to get my haircut today or, yeah. or tomorrow probably. So then next week I can then have to be one more thing I don't have to like try do before Yom Tov. Sometimes you can just not get to it, and then you're going into the tissue with like not feeling so good. Schmuck. Take it in advance, but anyway, the halach is you do it on Arab Yom Tov. There's natural minhag to do it because you should come in fresh. You should take care to shave for those of you who like to shave um, uh, before midday, yeah, before the, the, the lunchtime. So this, this week, we're talking about Wednesday. Right? Wednesday before Wednesday, you should try to have a haircut, try to get your laundry done. The tovlim, and we should immerse in the mikveh prior to Rosh Hashanah. The Hashem big day Shabbos Rosh Hashanah. When we should wear beautiful clothing or Shabbos clothing. The Rosh Hashanu butchim to demonstrate that we are confident. The Chassidus Baruch Shemo in the Hashem's kindness, blessed be, be His name. She yotzel or mishpatenu that He will bring out a verdict favorably. Yeah, we're not going to have a not good year. We're going to have a beautiful year. We're going to go into Yom Tov confidence, filled with confidence. Amen. Um, Amen. You can also go earlier than one hour before Halachic Midday. But not before that, if you want it to be Shark to Yom Tov. One should not wear luxurious, <coughs> should not wear luxurious Yom Tov attire 
for must experience the fear of heavenly judgment. So there's a different opinion about that. Okay. So people wear kittles to really get into the mood, and that's their minhag, to wear a white kittle, white clothing. <coughs> uh, my Rebbe, I think, wears a white kittle the whole 10 days. Wow. Uh, like a, when it's Shabbos, a Yom Tov. Because he, he has this really shiny, beautiful one. Oh, one of the shmata I have. You know, one of those fancy ones. Uh, yeah, it makes an effect when he walks in, you see him wearing it. Very um, Is it possible to have a drink? I'm just feeling yeah, like a bit. Different, um, different than the Yom Kippur. Uh, I don't care what it is, I just need my throat and I'm able to speak properly. No, again, that's a Taurus and a Dime. Right, Ali, this is talking about Arab Rosh Hashanah. No. What do you do with the Yom Kippur? Oh, the whole stretch? Yeah, well, like, it, it, there's a minhag, it's specifically talking about for Rosh Hashanah. Because it shows your trust in Hashem, but then you shouldn't be overly trusting. That's why you wear a kittel to show that you have to remember that after 120. Thank you so much. Sure. There's going to come a day where things aren't going to be amazing. You know, work out exactly how you want. Oh, so saying to you, you watch the Jews in Pittsburgh and Yeah. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Anyway, the main thing is we have clean clothes. We come. If you have a kittel and that's your minhag, wear a kittel. Trust in Hashem is going to make it good for us, Bez Hashem. And remember, we have this Ataris Nadarim. We should, anytime we've said during the year, I mean, must do this, I must do that, we have to nullify those vows. Be'er Rosh Hashanah, on Erev Roshon, Remez lo yachol devaro And that's an allusion to the cousin found in the verse. He should not desecrate his words according to whatever comes from his mouth, he shall do. To certain yashras, we spoke about it in the uh, Nesiva Shalom, about being amistic with your words. So, her Taras Nadarim is a big part of getting us more amistic and clean in how we speak and what we say we're going to do. So, if you take this Elul, the final letters of the word spell out Elul. So, that fits perfectly in, in terms of the halachas and finishing up the halachas of Elul now. Mishen Machi Mashu Omer, one who does not understand what he's saying, Baloshin Kodish. Yom Abeloshin Ashkenaz. You should say it in the Yiddish language or whatever you understand. So make sure you say the Hatar Sadaram in a language you understand so you know what you're saying. I say it in English. Yeah, an English translation yeah. can be found at the beginning of the translation of Rosh Hashanah Machsorim, as well as a complete art scroll sitter. So this is art scroll just giving a shout out to their own books in the middle of the halachas here. The text of the Enormous Besides the Nerv Rosh Hashanah. You can find Rosh Hashanah Machsor. Yeah, there we go. So it's, and it's even in some Sidurim. There's even a, a whole thing, a Filu Nizira Shimshin. You can also say that as well. If you really want to be. Okay, let's go. Um, Hilkas Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, I've got a haircut. It's Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Amos Adin. I'm scared of the Yom Adin. So I'm hiccuping like a freak. Baruch Hashem. Um, anyway, uh, um uh it says here, "Bechol Kodshim Shomrim in every Kadeshim in every Kadesh that is recited Rosh Hashanah Ad Yom Kippurim, Kofin Tevis Laila Laila above and higher and higher, yeah, beyond and beyond." We say it in the, in the Kadesh. Remember to add that in in your Kadesh during the ten days. Laila Laila. You don't say Laila once. Say Laila twice. Lo bevav Ula Laila. Just Laila Laila. Kevin Shabbat Kadesh says in this Kadesh we can lios chaf. Base table, it's 28 um, words. Bechol Shana Omrim, during the entire year we say La'ela min akol b'chosa. Ata Omrim, and now La'ela min kol b'chosa. So we get rid of one of the words to make sure it stays as 28, because the whole thing is koyach. The name of Hashem should be blessed during these days, we add the additional word La'ela La'ela. Okay, and that, that's the beginning of the hill, because Rosh Hashanah, there's already, we're going to see, there's lots of additions to davening. I don't know if we're going to unfortunately get to it today, but I'll just say over a bunch that I know remember right now. Remember, we have to say the whole 10 days, including obviously Rosh Hashanah, HaMelech HaKadosh, that's a big one. Ah. And if you don't say it in, within Shalom Aleichem Rebbe, and within that time frame of saying those three words, you have to go back and start the Shemana Sorry again. If you've already finished off, you said HaKal HaKadosh, you have to go back and say the whole Shemana Sorry to say HaMelech HaKadosh, very important. Halacha, try to remember throughout the 10 days, HaMelech HaKadosh again and again. 
go over it in your mind, Hamalech HaKadosh. We also add in Shemun during the, the week of the 10 days. We'll talk about it more next week if we get to learn. Oh, not next week, the week after, after Rosh Hashanah, during the 10 days. We get to say um, Hamalech HaMishpat. Also, that's in, uh, in the Shemun Esrei, in the middle of the Shemun Esrei, we say Hamalech HaMishpat, instead of Melech Lehev Sadak HaMishpat. Another addition we have to do is Zuchayin HaLachayim, before we say Baruch HaTashem again, Abraham, we say Zuchayin HaLachayim, and we also Zuchayin HaLachayim, Melech HaVetzchayim, we say Zuchayin HaLachayim, Melech HaVetzchayim, Melech HaVetzchayim, that only changes on Yom, Yom HaKadosh, right at the end of, of Ni'ila. The whole time we're going to be saying Kasfeinu, Hashem should write us in the Book of Life. Amen. We say Mi Komoch Ava Rachman, that's the second Baruch of Shemun Esrei, the one before was in the first. The second Baruch is Atta, yeah, but Machai Mason, but before we say Machai Mason, the last part of the book, we say, Mi Kamok Abba Rachma Vizachavi And then we say, at the end part of Shmon Esrei, in Modim, we say, Kasveinu Kasveinu Koyisrael Atoba, or something like that. How was it? What's the last one I've forgotten now? Mi Kamok Abba Rachma Vizachavi so Lachaim Tov Kol Bnei Briyasecha. That's what we say. Kol Bnei Briyasecha. We say that in Modim, and then we say in Sim Shalom. We say it's been like a while since I said it, so I'm not. One year. Yeah, yeah Baruch Hashem. Uh, and then we say in Sim Shalom, the last Baruch Hashem. Let's say say for Chaim Baruch of Shalom for Nasa Tov because there is Tov Shus and Chamos Niz Naz Keres the Chasa the Fene the Fenech the Lachaim Tov Shus Shalom something like that. Yeah, we say that whole special thing. You can sing it to remember it. But there's four special additions we add to the first and second bracha and the last two brachas of Shemun Esrei. There's four special sections of our special tefillahs. We can have a lot of kavana and those tefillahs for everyone to be inscribed in the Book of Life. Hashem shall have mercy on us. And Amen. to remember the B'nai B'risech, who were the nation of people, children of the Bris. And say for Chaim, it should be all the things like Panasa Tova, Gezer Tova. So who doesn't need all these things? We all need them, yeah? Amen. And uh, these are additions in Shemun Esrei that we're going to have in Rosh Hashanah and throughout the 10 days of repentance of Tshuva. And um, we'll just maybe do one or two quick more halachas of Rosh Hashanah. I remember right now off the top of my head, because we're not going to get there in Shkitsa Shul, going to recommend going there anyway in your own time, looking over the halachas. Yeah. I did briefly look it over before I came here, so I'll just remind myself that we have a special minhag on Lel Rosh Hashanah after Shemun Esrei. We'll be... One, we wish everybody uh, after tomorrow the Kasiva Kasima Tova. They say the, the proper Lashen. Yeah, Kasvein uh, was, how do we say it? Kasiva Kasima Tova, the Altar Lachaim Tovim of the Shalom, or Bukim of the Shalom is different than the Sachs of what you say. Wish everyone a good Ben Kaben Shur, blessed New Year, happy sweet New Year. And then we go home and we have Simanim, special Simanim of Brocha, like, um, you know, May Sod. He gave me some May Soda. May Sod Hashem should be revealed the side of Hashem, the secrets of Hashem. That's one. Yes, uh, nice. Or you should take a raisin and a piece of celery and say a raisin celery. Yeah, a raisin celery. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah. There's oh. lots of ones. But then there's all the famous ones in the Siddha, which you should say properly with the Yehirat son. Yeah, Sot, uh, Sot We want to get rid of all our enemies right now with the war going on in Lebanon. There's definitely a lot of Kavana we can have. Think about all the things that have gone on this year. If we just had a little bit more kavana, yeah, the simanim, la roshana, the Hashem should wipe out our enemies. We say in the say in the simanim, wow. the Bani Shchai brings down. We should say it with a whole heart, with, with kavana, in front of our whole family. Imagine how shpa we can have on our wife, our kids, and the kids can have on us, and everyone's together, wow. and the guests. We're all davening together for a new year, not just in the shul, but in our at our table with beautiful sweet food. Everything, that's another big important minhag. Make sure this food is very sweet during the 10 days. There's a lot of honey. The vash is gamacha avarachamim, a shem mercy on us. A lot of kavanas of dipping the halo in the, in the devash in the honey and dipping the apple in the honey. The apple itself has kadusha, tapu kadish. There's a lot of sodas, a lot of panemias, a lot of holy, holy remozim of holy things and all the different fruits. The mali mitzvahs, karima, we have rimonim, we have make shechiano on the second night. One on a fruit or a new new clothes or something new. Rukshar got in a new talis. I don't know, I managed wow. to get a new talis. Yom Tov. And I also, finally, I got some uh, silver polish, which I haven't got for years because always my wife always complained of the smell and this and that. I was just trying to use wipes and tissues and I did the silver polish there. I needed a bunch of wipes for the silver yeah. polish. But by the end, it was the first time my silver looked really good in years. Wow. 
and uh, it smelled a bit the house, but it was worth it because it got rid of the of the schmutz on my candles. And that's just Gorgeous. try and renew your yeah, to table, make everything fresh. Oh. I bought a new challah knife as a minhag like that oh, wow. once a year. Challah knife to oh, bring wow. new shefa. Wow. Uh, there's also in Hagen lots of things, beautiful things to do. The, uh, the point of the Yom Tov is not just to be the Amos Adin, the fear of the judgment, but also to have the Simchus of Yom Tov. The Ched Vesh Hashem is of Hachem. The Pasuk says in the Novi that Shem wants us to go home after the davening, on, on, especially on the Musaf, after we've had Shofras. Yeah. Yeah. I remember all the different Inyanim of Shofras. And Hashem moves from Kisei Din to Kisei Rachamim. It's Zeichel, Kedaz Yitzchak. There's a lot of halachas we're going to be busy with a big Shmon Esrei and Musaf. Where there's an extra three brochas in the middle of the Shemon so it becomes nine brochas instead of the usual seven on Musaf. And we have the opportunity in those special uh, Malchias and Zechronas and Shofras, the special editions of the Shemon and all the different Shofras to hear the Shofras during the Shemon Esrei. It's, very, it's mumtik, a lot of judgments, trying to have a on all the different Pesukim that are hinted to in Malchias, Shofras, Zechronas. And uh, sorry, Malchus Zechon and Shofras. They should mechaven. There's ten pesukim for each of the ten different tekiyas of each of the different parts of that of Shmon Esrei. The Malchus is ten pesukim, ten in Zechon, is ten in Shofras to mechaven. There's a lot of sodas and panemius and esaspheris, esadibrus. There's a lot of panemius being masakin and Hashem. What he does, the night of Rosh Hashanah, he it says in the Tanya and Svarim, all the hashpa the year before go up, all the energy and all the a voter we did this whole year and all the the, the koyach goes up and comes down a new shefer during the shofras a new shefer for the new year a new bracha a new kasiva kasiva tova for amiso and then we go home after all that voter and we're samech we're simchas yom we eat nice food and we're samech with each other and then we go into shabbos this year and then we're in Nasa, we may tshuva and we'll be back here working again so we'll, oh, yeah. we'll go right in the lachas of rosh Hashanah. Right now, let's uh, and what then we'll actually we'll go vital from Rosh Hashanah. We'll be talking about Yom Kippur and Sukkot, Bez Hashem, Balena the Tova. These are all special times. Now, let's just quickly do a very short shtickle from the Siva Shonim. And uh, it's Atam Atam Nitzavim Ayom Kuchem Nifne Hashem Lekechem Rosheichem Shivteichem Zichneichem Shotreichem Koisro Tapchem Nashechem Vugoyme Lavorech Abiris Hashem Lekech Vugoyme. This beautiful Pasuk is really what it's about, achtas, unity, everyone coming together in front of Hashem, all the, the, the heads of the, the tribes, the, the, the elders, everyone in the well, the, the children, the wives, everyone together to come in front of Hashem and the covenant of Hashem, your God. And it says in the Sefer HaKadosh, it says in the Sefer Shalom, his Svarim HaKadoshim, Parsha Zu, Korim Kodim Rosh Hashanah, this Parsha we read before Hashanah came in, Sharemes, but in Yom Adin, it's reminding us of the, of the big day that's coming up. I once sat in the Musashir of uh, the Rosh Hashiva of, of the Mir. Um, I've forgotten his name, it was the Rosh Hashiva of the Mir, I've forgotten his name. Very holy Yid, he had cerebral palsy, he used to move around a lot, you know, and uh, with, um, I've forgotten his name for some reason. Anyway, he's a very special person, uh, Naftali. Uh, or nothing, not his name. Anyway, this big Rav, he was sitting there and he was crying, literally the whole shir for an hour. He read one line of the Gemara about Yom Adin and Rosh Hashanah and he just cried. That was the shir. Wow. That was the shir. For an hour he just watched the Sadiq just cry. Wow. Yom Adin, oh, like crying. Wow. <laughs> that kind of, you know, but that, that was that was the shir for an hour. That was the Musa shir, just hearing uh, a Sadiq oh, cry. That's the Musa shir, oh man. He did say I was some Torah, but it was in within the tears. That's what I got from it. Al derech there is our kodesh yom hu yom at the dinner. Al derech there yachol a kavana atem nesavim hayom be yom at the dinner. Kuchem lifn everyone in front of Hashem and this day of judgment. The kim of sheichem shet all the different people. Ad shayev even the wire, the water carriers, yeah, the ones who bring us, you know, the water, the. The the Makalik guy, whatever. The Mona Khan, Yud Madregashem, Yud Madregas, Makhlaus, all the different levels of Khlaisra. Lamish al Koachad Yesh Din. Everyone has their own level of Din, their own level of Cheshbam of Hashem. Lahar Yamadin Sha Adam God. It's not just on the big people, it's upon everyone, on the the normal people, the Pashutim, the simple people. Ki kola khad ni dun everyone according to their level. Etza Adam Ragya Adin Amasim Shalavaris. Vaidu Adam God or Nidan al al Hurim. So some people they're getting judged on their just their actions because they're more like a micey kind of guy. They're not like high level big minds. And then there's these big gadolim have big minds. Their their thoughts are being judged. Imagine oh, that. Wow. 
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's in all levels of existence, yeah, and sure. all the levels of people. Even those who seem to have a small level of understanding of Yiddish kind and Judaism, it's also. Small it's, level, I'm that guy. And we just mentioned Rav Noam Ali Malach, which we have made a church for us. Now we're mentioning Rav Zusha, big Sadek, Rav Zusha. Ziz, it means Ziz, sweet. But Binstu Aishuch Tereinisht, is Yiddish, yeah? She Efilu had now, even the shoe, that Dava Pachas Vyosi Yeshlo Tafkim Yu, even a shoe has its specific Tafkid, even a shoe. Shaloyanich the Maim. Darko, when you're not going to just stick it in water when you're going on the way. You don't want it to get ruined. And everyone has its level. So even the shoes have its purpose. The point is it's giving an understanding that it doesn't matter what kind of Jew, what kind of person, what kind of place you have. Everyone has a purpose and Hashem's considering everybody. Remember, one of the things of Zichronus is Hashem's considering everything this on this day. It's all time for Cheshbon on, on everything, on everything in creation. So, so it's a very powerful experience. There's days, there's times which are high levels, like Rosh Hashanah is the Rosh of the year. There's the wood carriers and the, the Mayim carriers, the wood choppers and the Mayim carriers. And everyone's judgment is going to be according to their, the way they're holding, their situation, the aspect where they're at. And the point is, it's all going to come with a tremendous yish of adas and great mochin. It's, it's not like this, this balagan. Everything's done with seder and and on the shach inin gam the gabi tshuva. So according to tshuva, we also have to try all of us to also be like that to not be all confused. But to try and have Yishev Adas and to do everything like just Hashem. I said it's two days of Moyach, it's Memches Shalos. We have to try and have our brain present in Rosh Hashanah. And there is an extra Koyach, I don't know if you've ever felt it, an extra Koyach and Moyach, an extra energy towards the brain. You feel more like a, a conscious in Rosh Hashanah. The shofar's blowing, there's more of awareness, awakeness about what you're here for and what you're doing. And that's, that's how, that's the time. I mean, not, we're not really meant to actually do Tshuva Rosh Hashanah. But actually, the whole Avoda, Yosef Aaron mentioned it on our podcast, and the, the Real Kindness podcast, uh, that we're crowning the king. That's the point of the day. To remind ourselves that constantly. The whole point is to crown Hashem the king, not to worry about our babies or anything. It's not, that's not the day for it. But there is a little time during the Shofar blowing, when we hear the Shofar blowing, there is, then we can do a little bit of Tshuva. Because that's the time of complete Rachman. And then you can squeeze in on Rosh Hashanah a little bit of Tshuva, or Vino Malkanas maybe a little bit. But really, the main voter of Rosh Hashanah, crowning, crowning the king, crowning him over our life, crowning him over our, 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 our thoughts, crowning him over the world. Marvish. There should be a king. We shouldn't have all this balagan going on in the world. There should be a, a king and a kingdom, and everything should be masuda. And if there's a simple person who, God forbid, sins and goes against the king, so the katnus does so, and he has a smallness of mind. So he doesn't really understand what kind of serious thing he's done because he doesn't have the great mind to be able to see that. And his tshuva is, 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 is like someone who's trying to appease a simple person. He's not able to really masik. Because that's the whole point. Tshuva. Who are we doing tshuva to? We have to know we have this great melech, this big melech, how great Hashem is. And this is who we're doing tshuva to and this is who we've offended on some level. We've offended the covenant of the king, and I'm saying this about myself, when I don't think good, I'm taking the king and I'm putting his head, it says in the tiny, in the toilet and flushing. That's really what, you know, not, not that I could do that to Hashem, but that's how, in, what the damage I've done for my relationship with that concept. Because really, the, by crowning the king, it means we have to have constant covenant to Hashem and his kingship and what he wants us to do in this world. And that's, the more we build up how big Hashem is, the more we can tell our problems how small they are and put it in context. And we can start to understand that the, the things we're having problems with are really very small and, and, and everything has a time and place and we can start to be misunder ourselves because we're, we're getting the right mindset of Rosh, what Rosh Hashanah brings us to a, a proper way of thinking. The Rosh of the year should be with the right way of thinking. 
Ki ain't no shum havana gadol erech It's the problem is most people don't have and understand how great the king is. That's the problem. Kasher adam godom beprat echad mesharim aluka begeb emera hayim tshuva ena kuroish af es chayet al masha asa ena. So there's a, a person's going to have a very deep charata and it's going to be deep and it's going to because he recognizes how great the begam is that he turned God forbid against the malach. Who merat some adam pasha and that so you have someone who's a simple person. Zevunachshav lo chayet chamo. And uh, he does a very big, heavy sin. He doesn't understand what he's done. And so he's not able to fully do tshuva, unfortunately. He doesn't really recognize Hashem. We're going to do on Yom Kippur and Slikas. No, this Moses Shabbos, so we're going to have Slikas. We're going to say for the first time, Hashemnu Begadnu, yeah, for Slikas. Tshuva kazu hi atzmochei. The problem is we're not doing the tshuva properly because we're not recognizing who we're doing it for and what we've done. We haven't understood how great a begama is. So this is quite a scary concept, but it's a very true concept. And, you know, the eight Sahara, God forbid, was able to misgabber on us. And we have to, we have to try to get back to Yeshiva Das where we can start to really uh, recognize what the sin is, what, who we did it in front of, basically Hashem, the Melech. And then inside ourselves, we start to feel a tremendous bitterness towards what we've done. And that, that's something that the Admor, the Birkas Avram, the talked about in Shabbat Shuvah, Shalohi Nekavaya Mecholo Alavonus, that it's already starting to be forgiven our sins you know, the, during Elo and leading up to Shabbat Shuvah. Medav Zich Dach Ba Garbin Leber Dekai. Like we have a korban, he brings a chotas, a big cow, to, to get forgiveness for a big sin he did. So he's for sure going to, by the time he gets to the base of the image, and starts doing the, the video on the korban with the kayan, he's already like, you know, done a lot of tshuva already because the whole process of getting it there and bringing it and the korban and the singing of the levim and the whole situation recognizing who you've done this sin in front of now by the time you're by the base of the by the time you're there already it's like doing tshuva im acha kol zeh lo haisa tshuva kuroi kumale amukas haisa nearest to mus kalev kalev agamiz beh so if he doesn't really do it properly then it's similar to like bringing a dog on the mizbeh Hashem doesn't need your cow, your cow. He needs your heart. He wants you to tshuva b'fnim. He doesn't need you to stand up in shul and show how from you are. So I remember there was this whole thing when I was in yeshiva. Can you stand up for the whole davening of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, like this like competition? And you push yourself and you're young, you know, you've got energy and you want to like prove yourself. And like, what is it? What are you, what are you trying to get a tick? You know, like, who are you competing with yourself with the other people in the shul? What's that going to do in Rosh Hashanah and Kippur? It's an opportunity now to come clean and just recognize who, who the king is. And we haven't been loyal 100% and we're trying to do tshuva. And we have to bring a korban karoi, like the right way. We have to do tshuva the right way. We have to recognize what we need to fix. So that it's a real sincere avoda. It's not just a show. Um, we have to really cry and return the right way. So that we can become like the fire of, of the of the base of Mingdush, and it can be a real kapara. Remember the whole story with David and Melech sang in the Tehillim and Nun Aleph. It's a whole tefillah of tshuva when he when he had relations with Bat Sheva, and the Novi came to him Nosan and gave him rebuke. And what, what is he doing? He's doing a tshuva with his whole heart. Lev tar bar lekim, ruach nechon chadesh bekirbi. We say it even in the, in the al tashicheni, melfanech, ruach kachcha, tichach meini. We say it in the slichas. When we say shema kaleinu, this is a tshuva with fire. Zobin HaMelech, when he did tshuva, did it with the whole mahus, the whole energy. Amma kachuva hu kashayesh hakaras adas, chanam gadol chay. We recognize how big chay is and we do tshuva. And that's the miyatem b'tzavim, nifnei Hashem lekechim. We have to understand who we're standing in front of and do tshuva with the whole life, the whole heart, and the whole being. He brings from other tzaddikim, v'voy ma'oyah mo'ed yachsu ma'ayim. Ma'ayim rem is our tshuva. It should wash us off. It should be the kind of tshuva that cleans us off like the washing machine. 
should clean off our clothes. Metaris Yehudi purifies. Rachzimai, Hashem's purifying us. Like when we go to the mikveh, when we purify our body, Hashem's purifying our heart and our, our actions and getting rid of this small mindedness and starting to think like the way a Jew should in a big way. And with big mind, mocking the godless and with Yisha And the Messiah Hashem, we should be Zoka. We'll end off here. We should end off here. Everyone should come in front of Hashem with a recogni- recognition of who Hashem is. We should have a beautiful Shabbos and Sabbath and V'yelech. Rab Chazak Yomassa says in V'yelech, this week's Pasha also, Hashem's giving us only chizuk, encouragement and strength to go ahead. This, and these are the words that we need for our generation. Only encouragement and, and strength. And we should have a beautiful Shabbos Kodesh. Amen. And that would be the key to the sign this year for a bracha Amen. with Shabbos and with success. Amen. And please God will be zoked to a beautiful Yom Tov and Amen. a Messiah for all of Klai Yisrael and Shefer and bracha for this office and everything we're doing. Amen. Thank you.